Welcome to the Swamp, home of the Florida Gators, and we've long been told it is here that only the Gators get out alive. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see the number 23 team in the country, the Miami Hurricanes, taking on a team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Gators will boot it away to start the game. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hurricane offense makes its way onto the field to start this game. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you've got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, you keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. He'll try it again. Running with power. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. No matter who's been leading the program, Miami always wants to be able to run the ball with some physicality. Yeah, it starts everything. The line of scrimmage starts everything. That attitude starts everything. And the U is known for attitude. And when they play physical, they've got great teams. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed over the middle. It's Restrepo. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. And that's a great example of this quarterback having intense confidence in his own arm town. That was not an easy window to throw into, but he had the ability, and he knew it. Got some of the work done on first now. Let's see what they have on second down. To the air, it's Ward. He's got his man. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. The Canes look to keep this drive humming. They'll turn to Martinez. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. You run the slant route day one, and this is something that the quarterback and the wide receiver has done a hundred million times out there on the field in the offseason. I see man-to-man -man coverage. I know I can run the slant. Boom, stick my foot in the ground, throw it, completion to my wide receiver. They'll run it to the right. Runs through a tackle. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. He's got it again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low, in the offensive line, but they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Complete to the left. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, K. Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown, everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively.
PAT unit on the field. And the PAT makes it 7-0. An 84-yard drive there. And they put the points on the board with that 37-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Coming out with it, it's Hawkins. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Florida Gators offense will get the ball for the first time. Typically, the last thing a defense wants is to have a backer on a wide receiver, but we may see some of that today, guys. And typically, you don't see linebackers that can run like this guy, and that's why they feel okay letting him cover this dynamic wide receiver one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and, and feel okay, it's not going to be a good thing. You better get your hands on him early. Put your physicality, let that win. It ain't going to be your speed. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Rides to the back. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. Seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. We can talk about the next game on the schedule. They're always looking forward to this one. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. This is an interesting decision now for the head coach. You're trailing very early in the game, and there's a lot of football left. But you're in a situation where you could go for it here and try and answer after your defense gave up that touchdown on the opening drive. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Takes it on the return. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Martinez. How about the blow he delivered in banging his way to the 41? You know, it's funny, I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game, but when you think about it, this guy's been making people miss his entire life taking a hand off. So why wouldn't you try to get him involved in the passing game as well? You just saw in that last play how dangerous he is after the catch. Wide receiver shows motion. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own. Unfortunately, ended up losing the odds. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Back to pass, it's Ward. Fires it beautifully in on the crosser. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. And the Canes are moving quickly down the field. Movement here from the tight end. Off play action on first down. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Yeah, and I love taking deep shots. I think it makes quarterbacks play honest, safeties play honest. And you can tell, just missed a little bit deep on that shot. But listen, those are shots that we want to take because the risk is definitely worth the reward. Martinez on the carry. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anymore. 
Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Still in the pocket and fires over the middle. He makes a catch. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. I love that from this offense. Three is good. You're in field goal range. But now we're set up with first and goal because of great third down execution by this offense. Stay aggressive. Even when you get in this part of the field when everything shrinks and gets a little bit harder, you still want to be aggressive. He caught it. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Now, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Wants to throw. It's Ward. Got it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Hurricane. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point makes it 14-0. A 69-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. Makes a move. Got a little room. There he goes. Open it up. They won't get him. It's a touchdown. That dude ought to have a lethal sticker on his helmet. Anytime he touches it, it can be a score. He touched it, and it was. No doubt. Unbelievable speed. And if you're back deep for a kickoff, obviously, you've got those wheels. But to be able to get through it, guess what? No flags. No one's going to count. Great job by the special teams of being special. He'll try to tack on one more. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. Can't do it much better than that. Get the kickoff return, take it 98 to the house, and put a touchdown on the board. They're lining up to kick it off full of momentum after housing that last kickoff. And here's the return. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They'll turn to Martinez. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intention. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Holds and fires complete to the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. They're going to test the right side with this one. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. 
Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. The give to the back. He has had a long day at the office, not to mention the backfield, as the defense has been all over him. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride in stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Martinez on the carry. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Pulls it in. It's a royal. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. We've reached the end of the quarter and Miami is on top. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Lots of time left and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. The official says no good, and the margin remains at seven after the miss. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to throw, it's Mertz. And he's got his man on the sideline. He'll come up a little short of the first down. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Wide out in motion. Little touch pass to the receiver. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. How about that? You don't see those, you know, touch passes go for negative yards very often. Usually this is a short flip that counts as a completion that goes a long way, but the defense, aggressive, saw it, pulled the trigger, came outside, made sure he didn't get outside and get to that edge. Nice job by the defense. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. They'll put the tight end in motion. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Unloads to the wide out. Got a man in the middle. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. The Canes build their program around playmakers like that. 
They do, Reese. And, and speed on the outside makes everybody so much better. Finding those home run hitters, those playmakers, those, those are the guys when Miami's rolling, those are the guys they're finding. Going up top on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Martinez. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game, divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. Won't just be receivers, it's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. Set up for second and short after that completion. The back goes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Plows through the defense. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. On the move. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. The Hurricanes are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Grab behind the line. It's a Royal. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots in zones. You gotta get him involved. Here comes the offense on second down. That's caught. It's George. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Offenses want to get the ball to their playmakers really fast. They try to throw the wide receiver screen, but how about the defender? He was right there in his space, got him on the ground as soon as he caught him. He was ready for that. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. It's caught downfield. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. Well, this offense told us coming in, they were going to challenge this secondary early and often. They were going to use their speed to their advantage to take advantage of this quarterback's touch and arm talent. And they already in the second quarter, they've got over 200 yards thrown. They move the tight end all over. Off the play fake on first down. He'll pull it down. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. And the Hurricanes have it with a first and ten. Gets it out fast. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Looking to throw, it's Ward. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows, he can run slants, he can run the option routes and find the soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. They'll turn to Martinez. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Let it bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's a bit. High quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Looking to throw for it. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. 
Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Oh, the attempt is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. They go to the draw. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Looking for a man. It's Mertz. Fires to the wideout. It's complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And he gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Wilson. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers, like, I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot, I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. Looking to throw on second down. Grabbed behind the line, it's Badger. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Quarterback on the keeper. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. The Gators will send out the punt unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Hand off from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem, the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. Offensive linemen love to run power. Why? Run power, run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Powers through the defender. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. And the Canes will punt it away on fourth down. This will be their first punt of the afternoon.
on the move. It's Hawkins. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Florida! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. We trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. to attempt to try. And it's up and good. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. When these wide receivers work the middle of the field, so much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. Looking downfield, it's Ward. Throwing right. Got his man downfield. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. Man, and tight ends in today's modern college football are so difficult to stop because they're so much more athletic than they used to be. Today, they're just like big wide receivers. So defensively, how do you stop it? Do you have someone who has the physical dimensions to match up with this guy one-on-one? -on -one? You might not. And if you don't, are you comfortable putting a slower linebacker on him? Or do you want to put a smaller DB that might not be able to tackle him? It's a real difficult puzzle to figure out. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up, try to confuse the QB. It's not working, though. With that last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. The short hand, just a little. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. The Canes in the hurry up. Comes out throwing on first down. Chuck it away just as he was hit. And it's incomplete as he tried to thread that needle to the back corner of the end zone. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. And the big tight end could hold on to it. Looking to throw, it's Ward. Pocket starts to collapse. Got it! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Miami! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers.
Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. They put together an 81 yard drive and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Fielded in the end zone, it's Hawkins. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little timeline. And I think that's conversations you've had with the young fellow on the sidelines. Be like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. They'll give it to Johnson. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Canes will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Going to the run to start this second half. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Back to throw. It's Mertz. It's complete to the left. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. Fair catch just inside the 40. From the gun, the ground game. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And it's just simple. Simple first down run. Showing your physicality. Setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down and second and seven. He's looking to throw. Fires it in complete. Unfortunate with that incompletion, the quarterback and his intended target not on the same page. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He'll try to do it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. 
just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count, it messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. And now on second down for this offense. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. He'll work his way down to the 28. That kind of play is just vintage hurricane receiver play. I mean, big time playmakers on the outside. The list is long for Miami, but finding those elite speedsters down in the state of Florida, it's not a hard job. The Hurricanes have this offense rolling. He wants to throw. Caught behind the line. It's George. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. Going to the ground. Keeps those legs turning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Operating in the red zone here on second down. To the air, it's Ward, getting some heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And that don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. down and this crowd will pull out a vocal cord to help this defense. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. And the pressure is coming in and they get him again. They didn't have to blitz. They run the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover the back end and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. Here comes the field goal unit as he'll try to get the three. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. Smashes it between the uprights. And they'll push that lead out a little further. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll bring it out. It's Hawkins. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops forward and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Finds his big tight end. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. I think that time offensively, we're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit, and let's keep going. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. This is 
is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Gators will snap it on first and ten. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw. It's Mertz. Working that left side now. At the 45. Play. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. And the Gators are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Coming after it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. The offense lining up for a first down play. Martinez on the carry. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Leaves it with the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. to get off the field on third down. Finds his man. It's Restrepo. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down. They've got it at the 40. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. They go to the counter. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. They're facing a third down. Back to throw, it's Ward. They're trying to get to it. And the Heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. If I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm thinking about chipping this defensive end with running backs. I'm leaving my tight ends in to help this tackle because we cannot block him. He's already got two sacks. And the Hurricanes will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. The Gators sending the offense back to work. This one feels as if it's starting to get away from them a little bit, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, there's a lot of teams in college football at this point that would just quit. So, David, we're going to find out a lot about this team right here. Yeah, just running out of opportunities. If you give opportunities away like this, you're trailing every possession. is going to be important from here on in. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. He's going to pass. What a snag by the defense. 
bringing it back. He's at the 10. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Kings. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Fielded in the end zone. It's Hawkins. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do have it, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. They'll line up for a second down play. The pull and throw off the RPO. All the way out to the 38-yard line, it's a gain of 15. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more quarter to go and it looks as if we are ready to play. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. He'll try it again on second and ten. Just a short pass to the tight end. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. The Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Makes the grab. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. And there's no quit in this team. Obviously, they're trailing late in the game, but they're trying to make it happen. We've seen two big plays now back to back. They're putting pressure on this defense. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives them momentum. Looking to pass, it's Mertz. Makes the catch, and he will score! Touchdown, Gators! That's number two on the day, having a day. I mean, you know he's going to catch the football, and you know he's going to make plays after he catches. Those are the kind of guys that you feature, and you find them, and they produce like this, you keep finding them.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So a drive there of 85 yards. And they close the deal with the seven yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Using the quick game. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. Still a little ground cover to pick up the first. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right? You still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space. And that is exactly what this offense is doing. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Quickly complete. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Use the play fake. Now to throw. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative. Or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. This is so interesting right now watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. They're going to throw it again. Got it behind the line. It's Martinez. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And in my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He did not that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll turn to Martinez. Brought down after a pickup of five yards down to the 10. I know the passing game sells. The passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Boy, they love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third down, going up top. They're bringing heat. They get it up, rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And I think if you're the head coach here, you, you've kind of got mixed reviews on your passing attack so far because, yes, you've thrown for a bunch of yards and you've thrown a couple of touchdowns, but you've also given up four sacks now. Pass protection has not been great, even though they've got the lead in this game. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It is true as he puts three on the board, and that lead grows even bigger.
So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. The returner will field it and bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talk about great balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking for a man. It's Mertz. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Got it in the middle. It's George. They'll get him stopped at the 45, but it's a big 15-yard pickup and a first down. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk play. Yeah, and in winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it. Keep getting those stats. They'll throw it on first down. Deep shot for the end zone. And it won't make the connection going for the big play. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling the rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. I haven't seen a lot of balls fall complete, especially deep down the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. They'll run it from the gun. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. Listen, that wasn't the greatest one in the world, but it was very successful in making the honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the running the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. Send out the kicker to try a field goal. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. And he's got it counted all the way to 55. Never in doubt. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, to get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. This offense has a second down play. 
to throw. It's Mertz. And the pass is incomplete. Charged loose by the hit. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. From the gun, wants to pass. Going to take a shot. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Man, now such a tough situation late in this game. You're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Snatches it on the right. Off he goes. Touchdown, Florida. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. How about the day for this show? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. We'll send two at him. We'll send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to do this time and time again. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. Looking to throw. He's got it in the end zone. The two-point conversion is good, and we have a one-possession game late. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt, find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute, build this lead a little bit bigger, keep this thing away in the fourth quarter. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Let's see if he can find some room behind the left tackle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, it's a nice job by this team. It's obviously backed up against it. Time running out. Got to get the football back. Two good plays. Now third down. I stay aggressive. Have to come after him. If they decide to throw the football, so be it. But stay aggressive. Get that football back for your offense. Scanning the field. It's Ward. Setting up the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. Love the execution there in the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big gainer. And the cage will bring the punt team onto the field. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. On the return, it's Hawkins. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got an open man. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. Well, no question. They've got to score a touchdown and get the two-point conversion here. But that's a good start to this two-minute drive. You always want to get it going. You want to get that momentum going, put the defense on their heels. They accomplished that with the last throw. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Catch in the middle. It's Wilson. How many guys are left grabbing for air as he gets it to the 26-yard line? The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Line getting set on second down. Motion from the offense. Wants to throw on second down. He's got it. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. 
I'll tell you what, great job by this offense. Great execution. You drive down the field, you get the score. Now what's your two-point play? You practiced it all week. What's your go-to in this moment, late in the fourth quarter, when you need the two-point conversion? After the score, they need this two-point conversion to tie. Dropping back, it's Mertz. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Just gets it to the 28, pick up of one. Yeah, and a nice job by this defense. This is a critical moment, right? We got to get the football back. They're backed up, thank goodness. Force a punt here, get the football back so we can make some magic here in this fourth quarter. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. You've got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. The handoff keep working on that clock. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. Open runway ahead. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. The entire complexion of this possession changed on that one play. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 20. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Martinez on the carry. Nice, solid four tackle from this sophomore. And not a surprise by this offense, right? This is a game management type situation. I want to run the football. I want to run the clock. The clock is my friend with the lead. Late in the fourth quarter, inside of a minute, I'm going to keep this ground game going and make you have to look at that clock continue to tick. Back to pass. It's Ward. It's complete. And he will score! Touchdown, Hurricane! That is exactly what you want your offense to do. You want it to eat clock, but if you score, go up by two possessions, nail meat, coffin, great execution by this offense to put this game away. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Hawkins. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They're starting to feel a little desperation here, David. They just can't press yet. It's go time. we, we got to put some drives together down multiple possessions, Jesse. We don't have any time to waste. Yeah, so at this point in the game, your best players have to touch the football. You've got to dial up plays, getting your biggest playmakers involved now if you're going to win this game. 
second down coming up. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. What a great job outside working that route. Not only did he get to the sticks to make sure he got the first down, but also was able to get himself out of bounds to stop the clock. You could not do that any better in a two-minute situation. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. This is an offense that has skill. They've got speed, and because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got a big lead here late, but they've now given up back-to-back -back big plays. they got to put the clamps down. The Gators will line it up on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack, throw the ball away. Now listen, we can debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because it's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So you know what? Nice throw away, QB. And back to the air on second down. Basic connection. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. This is sort of like a pinball machine. The numbers keep kick, kick, ticking up. He's closing in on 450 yards. Yeah, Reese, and there's no defense for perfect throws, and that's what this guy's been delivering all game long. You know, the coverage hasn't always been awful, but this guy just finds a way to thread the needle. The Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires left. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Well, that's exactly why you practice these two-minute situations. The quarterback knew exactly where to go. He's trying to work the sideline, save some clock. Great route by the receiver getting open, making the catch, getting out of bounds. And this drive is off to a pretty good start. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. One more play to pad the stats. He's looking for a man on second down. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. 